David? No, I, I shot David. David's in a coma because of me. I'm the one who's, who's facing charges. Erica, I'm talking about something that happened here in the hospital. What? Kendall picked up a pillow and was walking toward David. And if Dr. Castillo hadn't walked in when he did... No. No. She needs help. She needs you. For you. Thanks. I have ordered three dozen for Fusion's holiday party. Fusion is having a holiday party? Yeah, it is the season and all that. Well, I, I thought Grinley decided with the economy and the company still struggling to keep it low-key this year, just small presents for the employees. You haven't even come back to work yet. Well, I'm ready. I'm completely and totally ready. Are you sure about that? Yes, yes. Now is the time. I mean, we have to show them that we're riding the ship. And Miranda Center's going to be Miranda great. Miranda Center. Yeah, I mean, Zach's vision to expand it was amazing, and I, I want to be a part of it. Actually, have you planned a party for them? Because you should. Kendall. What? What's wrong? Nothing is wrong. I love your enthusiasm. It, it's just... It's just what? Go ahead, say it. You don't think I'm ready to work or to be a person. You don't think I can handle it? All right, so are you, you ready? Almost. And by the way, you are carrying the water today. No, I'm not. You're oh. carrying the water. No, 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 no. You are carrying no, the water. No, you oh, lost yeah. that. You don't remember? Oh, no. I remember. I can actually change a car tire well, faster you than you any day. You, you didn't no, do that no, yesterday. No. You, you, you didn't you do that yesterday. Me. Well, because, I, and I, I, you know, I was flustered. Think fast. Oh, wow. Guess I wish you were operating on me. Yes, you do. <laughs> I don't mean the surgery part. Because that wouldn't be. Wait. Happy anniversary. Six months ago, I stuck you in the arm. Yes, you did. <laughs> Twice. And your venom went right to my heart. Should I? Open it? Yeah? Yeah. Okay. Nice. Love you. You like it? Me? Oh my God, I love it. I love it. Yeah. It's loaded. Yeah, everything. I All love this. Thank you. Yeah. I'm, just, I'm like putty. I'm, I'm putty in your hands. It's, I'm so in love with you. I'm so in love with you. What? I have a little something for you as well. Really? Mm -hmm. This is dispatch. We have an emergency in sector four. Specific forthcoming. Yep, yeah, yep. Yeah. All right. Um, we're on it. We're on our way. You're here. Let me have it. Jake already did. You saw Jake? I'm sure you have plenty to add. Well, ordinarily I'd say, uh, nice to meet you, but I gotta be honest, I'm standing here wishing you would pack up and leave.
you do know things are different, right? I mean, he's, he's got a life now, a family. I know that. Well, then you probably also know the last thing he needs is for you to be around messing things up. That's not why I'm here. Oh, that's funny you mention it. I can't think of a single good reason why you would be here. I never meant to hurt Jake. Hurt him? You broke my brother's heart. So badly, I didn't think he was ever going to pull out of it. I mean, thank God he did. Finally. When he fell in love with Amanda. That's right. Amanda. She put him back together again, piece by piece. Made him whole. And as far as I'm concerned, little Trevor, he's just the icing on the cake. So the last thing anybody needs right now is for you to happen through Pine Valley. Start sticking your nose around things where, you know, you neither needed nor wanted. Now, do you want to keep yelling at me? Or should I take a look at that? I'm not yelling. This is nothing. It's just well, a, it's I don't a, it's know. a cut. Yeah, yeah, well, you're bleeding on the floor, so. So I'll get a Band-Aid. What happened? Well, you must know. Mm -hmm. I had a <clears throat> little incident with a knife in the kitchen. You moonlighting as a sous chef? No. It was uh, more like an undercover thing, a you know, sting operation. In. What? Yeah. Let's do this. Hey. Hey. Where's my baby mama? My beautiful little boy. I just asked them for pie, and Sean tells me they're all out. So I'm gonna, I'm gonna make that up to you. I promise. You okay? I'm great. I'm good. Why? The whole care thing. I don't want you to think about the care thing anymore. Okay? She's gonna be gone in a couple of days. Why is she even here? <sighs> Babe, she came here to ask me if I think about rejoining Doctors Without Borders. I don't know what to do. Well, I can't even say hi to my own son without him running out of the room. You're the expert in that. Maybe she feels if she holds on to the anger, then she won't have to feel the grief. There might be something to that. It's so frustrating. It's so frustrating to love your child so much, but not be able to reach them. All I really want to do is just put my arms around her. I just want to make everything all right again. This... This Dr. Castillo, he won't tell anybody what he saw, will he? Why don't you leave that to me? Go be a mom. I know you can handle the work. You're incredibly capable. But you think I should stay in bed all day with the sheets over my head until I don't miss Zach anymore? No. Okay, but I shouldn't work or plan parties? I'm not trying to tell you what you should or shouldn't do. Good. Because I still own half a fusion. And expanding the Miranda Center was Zach's passion. Unless you think I'm encroaching on your territory. No, of course not. I was actually thinking about stepping back from Fusion so I can focus on the Miranda Center full time. All right, good. Okay, well, let's get started then. I want to see the sales figures from the last quarter. Now? Is there a problem? Bianca, hi. Reverend. Hi. Kendall. I didn't know you'd be here. Hey, uh, it's good to see you. Good to see you. Um, actually, Bianca, I just wanted to talk to you about some of my parishioners who might be needing the services of the Miranda Center, but I could come back some other time. You guys are obviously in the middle of... No, 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 no. Actually, please stay. We were just talking about the Miranda Center. Uh, no, we, we, can, we can do this another time. My sister thinks it's too soon for me to be getting out of the house. I never said that. Well, what do you think? I think if I sit there and stare at the walls that I used to share with Zach, I'm going to lose my mind. <laughs> no one is saying you should stay at home, just that you should take care of yourself. She has something to prove. Are you crazy? Her husband just died. You have nothing to prove. Maybe not to you, but I have a lot to prove to Zach. 
Zach would just want you to be happy. Well, that's not going to happen. So I have to shoot for something within reach. Like remembering Zach the right way. Exactly. Everything Zach did, he did 100%. Whether it was running his businesses or playing with his boys or loving me. It's up to me to keep his spirit alive. With the Miranda Center, with Spike and Ian. I just, I want to be the woman that he wanted me to be. You are that woman. No, I'm not. I'm not. I am so full of anger oh, and what? hate. Anger, anger at who? The people responsible for his death. How do I not hate them? How do I not want to make these people pay for taking my husband away? Okay, you know what? I should go. No, no, Kendall, Kendall, it's okay. It's okay to be angry. Actually, right now, it's okay to hate. I, I don't think so. Have you hit anything? What? Since Zach died, have you punched a chair? Have you broken a lamp? Have you hit anything? Reverend... Bianca, I'm gonna need a sacrifice from you. A, a plate, a bowl, something that you're willing to part with. No, you know what? This works for other people. This is not gonna work for Actually, me. Actually, I think that you should be doing this once a day. I offered for you to come down to one of our work sites. But right now, you just need to break something. David and Greenlee left this when they moved out. Oh, this is so Yes, silly. I know. It's silly. It's not gonna work. Yeah, blah, blah, blah. Ah! Oh, okay. <sighs> How did that feel? A little better. Oh, I'm glad to hear it. Sorry about the mess, Banks. No worries. Okay, I gotta go. Sorry. Hey. Hey, since both of our places are a little treeless, what do you say we get together later, take the kids to find the most fabulous Christmas tree in Pine Valley? If anyone had to find out what what Kendall did, I'm very glad it was you. Thank you. I didn't really do anything. Kayla, you're representing me in this whole legal mess. And you were here for Kendall when she needed someone to talk to. Well, I doubt that she'll be thanking me when she finds out that I told you. Well, I'm thanking you. Welcome. Wasn't so hard, was it? I just go to her. Caleb. I do hope one day that I can return the favor and help you. You already have. More than you know. <laughs> 